Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I have a new video for you guys and this is something I have been anticipating doing and this is my Disneyland prep video. I am going to have to break this up into two videos because the first stores that I have here is um, Walmart, a little bit of grocery outlet, a little bit of 99 cent store and I think that's it um, and then the rest of the stuff that I have is from the Dollar Tree and the other video is going to be all Dollar Tree stuff um, and I have a lot of stuff to show you guys so again without further ado this is my Disneyland prep um, video and it's something I've been anticipating like I said and I just want to say really quick thank you so much for watching this video really quick before we get into it and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that button and hit the notification um, button. That way you'll be notified when I um, do post new videos. I haven't been posting that often because I've just been super busy with work and my family and just trying to get this Disneyland thing, you know, squared away. But um, I'm hoping to have more videos coming out soon. So stay with me. <laughs> Thank you again for those faithful viewers and faithful subscribers. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into this. So I'm going to begin with walmart now i did normally i would go to the dollar tree and buy the paper goods but while i was there the other day i was looking at the paper goods and i was thinking of the price packs and i was thinking of you know what would be better for my money if i'm going to go to the dollar tree i know that i'm going to need two packs of the plates and they're 30 i believe 30 packs um, 30 sets of plates each and this one was a 60 pack so i would have paid two dollars for that pack at uh, if I were to get two packs at the Dollar Tree but this one came out a little bit cheaper and yes it was only a few cents cheaper but nonetheless it was cheaper for me and this was a 60 pack for $1.97 so I went ahead and I got that and then I got some paper towels and this is it just says paper towels it doesn't have like a, any brown it's just like the really cheap brand and this was 50 cents and I did get two packs of the spoons and uh, I'm sorry, one pack each of spoons and forks, and these are the Great Value brand, and they're 48 count each, and I they uh, these were like a dollar something. I don't remember quite, but these were a dollar something. Um, and so again, like if I were to have gotten these at Dollar Tree, there's like I think like 20 in a pack. I would have had to pay a dollar each pack, and sometimes you don't get lucky and find just spoons or just forks. So this is what I got. I just went ahead and got it at Walmart, and then I also picked up. Um, the pack of, and these were 97 cents for the Great Value Foam 51 cups. And you can use them for hot or cold beverages. So these will be used inside of our hotel. This is items that we use all the time for our lunches. We go back to our hotel and eat lunch. Or sometimes our hotel doesn't have breakfast and we'll use stuff for breakfast. Um, so that is that. And then I did pick up this pack of the Equate wipes. And it has the snap top here which is nice i did pick these up for the kids i just got one pack each and it's the milk magic cookies and cream straws and i got these because when we go have our character breakfast we'll take some of the extra milks with us or even if in our hotel has the extra little milks that they can take and we'll put them in our lunch bag i have an insulated lunch bag that i'm going to be taking and i will be putting these in there so later in the day when we have our lunch, the kids can have their lunch with their milk and their little straw, and I think they would enjoy that. <clears throat> and then I have a viewer behind me. My son came to join me. And then I did get two boxes of the Tajin to go, and they're 25 pouch um, packs. 25 packets inside. My son wants to say hi. Do you want to say hi? Yeah. Here, you can stand right here, and I'll put you on camera. Ready? Say hi, Peter. Hi. Say hi to, to, Insta, to YouTube World. <laughs> and that's my little guy, Pete. Okay, so I did get the two, uh, I got two boxes of the Tahin to go, and I love these. I really, really love these. Um, we're planning on using these for our fruit that we're going to be taking, our fruit cups. And I do want to show you some um, some of the other fruit lists that give me that bag over there. I have my fruit from um, Grocery Island, that whole thing down there. So this is what the Tahin packs look like. So we'll be taking these and putting them in our snack bag and our lunch bag when we have lunch. And putting that on our fruit and and our Dole Whips when we get to town. Um, when we get to Disneyland. What's that? I can't hear you. You want to say hi to you? Okay, I have another visitor. Come and stand right here. This is my other little one. Say hi. Hi. 
Okay, and then I picked these up for me for my shoes. I didn't buy myself any shoes because I don't need any. Um, but I, um, I'm not really like a tennis shoe girl, but I did get some tennis shoes about a year ago at... Um, at Payless, and they're kind of like slip-on tennis shoes. They're really comfortable. They're really cute, and I've worn them the last two times that we went to Disneyland, and they lasted really, you know, really long time. So I did just pick these up just to kind of give me an extra boost of comfort. Um, so I felt like that was way cheaper than just buying like a whole new pair of shoes, which I really don't need. And then I also got these at Walmart. Um, they're the sugar-free snack pack puddings and usually I get these for around the house anyways I did wound up picking up two of these one for the kids for right now and this one we will be using at Disneyland and you get 12 cups and there's six vanilla and six chocolate and these are the sugar-free so I get these quite often for the kids for snacks around the house and then my son picked these up with this was on my list to get cookies and so he saw these and it's just a mix of cookies and it's they're like the Mexican cookies but they're all different kinds you can see in the picture all the cookies that they show and these were like two bucks and some change so it wasn't it wasn't um it wasn't very expensive at all for this big box and you get a pound a pound and a half worth of cookies so for under three dollars that's not bad and then um can you please not do that thank you go go ahead and watch your movie and then I did pick up, they had some flip-flops. So I went ahead and got myself some flip-flops along with those tennis shoes that I have. The last time I went, I did buy myself some 97 cent flip-flops. And when I got tired, I'd go back to the hotel. We'd freshen up, we'd eat lunch. And then I would change my shoes and I'd put on these flip-flops. And you guys, my feet lasted like the rest of the night. And I like them because they're thick. They're new, so they're not, you know, going to hurt me. Um, and they're going to be thick for a while. So, I mean, 97 cents. And I've used them before. I buy these all the time when they come out. And they're just as good. So, I stock up on these. I bought myself some blue ones. I bought myself these beautiful orange color ones. And then I got, let's see, I got these pink ones over here. And then I also got some black ones. So I will be putting these in my in my suitcase. I'll be taking these with me. Also for just like the trip up there, it's nice to have on just a pair of sandals just to kind of relax her feet and not be stuffed in shoes the whole time. And then I also picked up a pair each for my daughters. And um, they're not, um, so these are for my daughter, one of my daughters. See, they're only 98 cents. And then the other daughter is green. And then also for my son, I picked him up some gray ones. They're not in here right now. They're in his closet. But I did get him some gray ones. And we can also use these like at the pool. Our hotel has an indoor pool. So we could probably use these at the pool as well. And then I did just pick up um, this for my face. And what I'm going to, I use this in the shower. But what I'm going to do is put some of it in a little travel to go container. So that I can put this with my travel stuff. Um, and that, that way I can wash my face when I am there. And also, um, oops, the top came off, but I did pick up a travel size deodorant because that was the only thing out of my travel items that I did need to purchase. And I do have a lot of my travel set is already ready to go. I mean, it's nothing fancy, but if you guys are interested in it, let me know and I can do a video on my traveling, um, my stuff, what I'm going to be packing for Disneyland. And then just a couple of items that I purchased for myself. I didn't buy a whole lot of clothes. I just wanted a couple new tops just to kind of, you know, I, so I don't wear the same ones over from the last two times I went. So I just purchased this top as a layering top. I'm going to be using it with another shirt, but I thought this color was pretty and it'll match with those orange flip-flops I bought. And it's just a tank top. It's orange and it was, it was $4 or less than $4. And then I also picked up this beautiful green one, which I have another shirt and a top that I'm going to be wearing, like a cover um, that I'm going to be wearing with it. And so this pretty green one, it has like, it's like a nice, um, like, lycra material, I guess. And this one was, let me see if I can find the price tag. Uh, this one was um, less than $4 as well. And then this one I thought was really pretty. I have a sweater that I just got this exact color from um, Burlington. And it's like a lightweight see-through type, a three-quarter inch sleeve sweater that I'm going to be wearing with this. So it's not like a sweater sweater, it's just like a, like a layering type deal. And so I got that to go with this, or this to go with that. And it's just a really pretty um, sleeveless tee and it's kind of see-through so it's going to be fresh and has this beautiful lace design on the arm the sleeves and then on the back and then I also purchased this beautiful dress it's super cute it's just a simple little cotton dress 
It's just so cute. It's black. Oh, by the way, this shirt and these tanks, this shirt they had in other colors. They had like in red and black and then some other like a stripy black and white one. And then these tanks, they also have in lots of colors. And I like getting these um, for the summer because they're very comfortable and they're very loungy. You can just wear them all the time. So get yourself some of those tanks. They're very comfortable. Um, and then I got this really cute black dress. It's just a simple cotton black dress. But what I love about it is it has these little pockets. And I'm going to be wearing this at Disneyland. I cannot wait to wear this. It's just a simple, cute black dress. Nothing fancy. But it has this cute little, you know, design color up here. And this was less than $10, you guys. And they had other colors. But I figure I can be safe with black. So this was, let's see. I'm trying to see if I can focus in on the... $9.96, so 10 bucks. a super cute dress. And this, as well, they had other colors. And then, um, Lissette, can you put my clothes in the room? And my shoes as well. Thank you. Don't get duckies on my dress, please. And then I also got, just throw them on my bed. I'm sorry, guys. And then I also got this top. This top they also had in other colors, but I just got the gray. It's simple. I'm not trying to be all fancy. I just needed a couple new tops. This one was really comfortable and it has this cute design on it. And I like that the, the, the um, what is it? The sleeves have this little fold right here. And then it has this cute little slit right here at the top. So it's just a really comfortable t-shirt. Also had it in other colors. This was only $6.88. And then the last clothing item that I purchased was this um, really nice, really comfortable sweater and I was looking for a hooded sweater I just wanted a lightweight hooded sweater and that was on my list a lightweight hooded sweater for the evenings you know when it gets cold or early in the morning because we're going to be going early in the morning every day when it's a little bit cold just something that I can you know wear that's not too heavy and I don't have a big old coat that I can just take off and throw in my backpack or throw in the locker and so I found this one it's this I'm not too f fond of the stripe on the inside like I really don't like that but I like that it's gray on the outside and only the stripe is on, you know, the bottom and on the sleeves. So I guess I can deal with that. But and it has um, it has pockets. So that was something that I really wanted in a sweater. So it has these pockets here. It zips and it has a hoodie. So everything I was looking for and it was $13.88. So not a bad price at all, you guys. So that was the clothing I had purchased for myself at for Disneyland. Now, I did purchase my kids a lot of clothes, but I'm not going to show you all the clothes that I bought them. Um, I just I just bought them some shorts, a couple pairs of jeans. They had their jeans, their little girl's jeans were on clearance for $5. So they each got a couple of pairs of jeans. Um, they got some t-shirts. They got some shorts. And I'm going to be buying them some tennis shoes um, pretty soon. Okay, so that's it for Walmart's. Oh, no, one more item. This hat. I already have a pink one, but I wanted to get another hat. Just a plain, simple hat. And this one was, I got this in black. And this hat was only $2.97. So, you know, just a, just a simple little hat. Just a baseball hat. And it's a snap. Not the snap, but the little Velcro in the back. Um, for those days when it gets really hot, I could just, you know, fold it up, throw it in my backpack. And when it gets hot, I can throw it on. Okay, and then, so that was that. And the last thing I want to show you that I got from Walmart is this backpack. The last time my kids and I went, um, it was just us. The backpack that we had was like a, a Pirates of the Caribbean backpack. And it was really old. I had it for a really long time. Um, but it wound up ripping. And so the last, like the last two days we were there, we were just kind of using whatever bag we could get our hands on just to put our snacks and stuff in. But... Um, I did find this kind of by the um, sports section. Just leave it there for now. By the sports section. And it was only, it was less than 19 bucks. So it was like 18 and some change. But it's really nice. So it has this big opening on the inside. It only has just this one big opening. It has a little pocket here and then, and then a space back here. And then um, it has this little zipper right here. So I could put like our keys, our room keys or, you know, pins for our autograph books. And this little zipper right here. And then it has these two pockets in the front. Probably for our cell phones or whatever. And then it has um, this strap. I'm not sure what this is for. But it has this. And then it has a pocket right here. And then it has another pocket right here. So just a simple backpack. Nothing fancy. But just so that we could put our snacks in. It's big enough to hold some extra water bottles. Some snacks. And our sweaters. And then we have... I have my um, my ice chest from my old job that I have, 
that we're going to be taking. It's not an ice chest. It's like an insulated lunch bag. And um, I'm going to be taking that with us as well. And that's going to be in our locker with our lunch. I just want to... Hold on for a second, guys. I want to show you the insulated bag that I found at Walmart. And this was like two bucks, I think. So they had these at the end cap, like by the registers. And I thought, what is that? It looks really interesting. So when I opened it... Turns out it's this giant insulated bag. So I thought, oh my god, I have to get that. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I'm going to use it. And what perfect thing then to take it with me to Disneyland. So actually my daughter and her friend are going with this as well. And so they're going to be taking their car and um, she's going to be using this for her car, for the car ride up there. But I like that it's insulated and it's a really good size. So this is even perfect for like the beach, you know, just throw in some lunch and a couple water bottles and you're good to go. So this is another item that I did get at Walmart for. Um, well, I'm going to be using it for Disneyland. So I just wanted to show you that really quick. Okay, so moving on. Sorry, it looks like a disaster now. But moving on, my daughter purchased this for me at Target Dollar Spot. And it just says, oh yeah, but I really like that it's really tall compared to this little one that I have. So my husband and I went to the 99 cent store and I found these for the kids. I wanted to buy them new ones because we did get Disneyland ones, but I don't want them to take the Disneyland ones back because I'm afraid they're going to lose them. Because I bought, when myself and my kids went, I bought us four and, you know, one child lost one of them. And so I don't want to lose another one. So what I'm doing is I'm going to take these with us and I just want to show you. Sorry, I had to stop to open it, but I want to show you the inside. So this is perfect. So we could put ice in here. And if you don't already know, the park gives you free water. So I'm not I'm not buying any drinks this time. Last time we bought cases of waters and we bought juice boxes and it was just so much food. Um, so this time I'm not buying any drinks and I'll show you what we're going to be doing for drinks. But I did buy these at the 99 cent store. I, I settled on these because I figured they can, once they twist it on, so it has the twisty up here. And so once it's twisted on, um, then they can get this part, and I'll just get another cup to show you. They can get this part and attach it to their lanyard, and then they have their water bottle. Or they can just carry it like this, and they have their water bottle with them. So I really like that. My son and my daughter picked the blue, and my other daughter picked the green. And then I had purchased this one for me, because this one also has the large top. And we, we what we do is we fill up um, at our hotel, we'll just fill these up with ice. And then once we get in the park, we'll go and get our free ice water. And then, um, you know, we have our water all the time with us. So I had purchased this for me. And then I, my daughter had came home and she had bought in me this one from the Target Dollar Spot for $3. So I'm actually going to be taking both of them. I'm going to use this as a backup, but I like this one because it's taller. So obviously I can put more water in it, but it has the handle so I could carry it with me if I need to. And she also purchased one for herself as well. So that was all I bought at the 99 cent store. And then just these really quick. I mean, nothing important, but I just wanted to throw it in there to show you. I got these at Michael's a while back. They're just playing cards for our hotel room or for the car, whatever. And then I, I got these for myself at the Target dollar spot. And they're just some new sunglasses, nothing fancy. Now moving on to the, um, the grocery outlet items. I have more items that I'm going to be purchasing, but this is what I have for now from Grocery Outlet. I got these a while back, and these were um, the leftover Valentine's items, and these were, oh my gosh, I want to say less than $2 um, for this 26 individual packet of Sweethearts. So I thought this would be cool to have for the kids. When we are on vacation, I do let them... Um, I do let them have treats, and I do buy them candy, and I do buy them cookies and things like that. I figure we're on vacation, let's have fun. I don't buy stuff like this for my kids normally throughout the year. And so when they know they're going on vacation, they know that they're getting, you know, treats. So I thought this would be good. You know, they can I can throw this in their little lunch bag, and they each have a little pack of candy. And it'd be, you know, a nice little treat to add to their lunches. Um, and we do take our own lunches in the park. We I pack lunch every day. We take our own lunches. I make trail mix. We take trail mix. We take snacks. And so that is what we do. And then we save our money for like special treats like, you know, Dole Whips and um, corn dogs and turkey legs and things like that. So that's what we use our money for when we're in the park so that we don't spend a whole lot of money. This last trip that we went, we went for eight days. And I um, kid you not, it was me and my three, my three little ones. And we spent $30 a day. And that was it, $30 a day on food, 
and we ate really good because we took tons of food and tons of snacks with us and the $30 was basically like our treat for the day and so we did really awesome it was a lot of fun and the kids were like I don't know how we did it it was 108 degrees it was insane but we had so much fun anyway so moving on I did get all of these and every time I go I try to pick up like another dollar or two but these are the pineapple tidbits by Dole I'm sorry by Del Monte and let's see I have four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I have 18 here, and I think I have more in the cupboard, but I have 18 here, and these are four for a dollar at Grocery Outlet. And so this is what I bought those. Where are they? That is what I bought these for mainly. Um, so I like them because they have this pack here. You just, this little thing here. So I figure, you know, we could have these with their lunch, or even when we're, at, like, we're getting a little hungry and we're waiting in lines and the kids are getting hungry. They can just pull this open. They can drink the juice or pour the juice out and they have their little fajin. They pull out a little fork and they can go to town on these little pineapple tidbits. So that's what I bought these for, for Disneyland. And these again were four for a dollar at um, Grocery Outlet. When they first started selling these, they had them for, I believe, like 59 cents. And then they had them for 33 cents. And then they went down to four for a dollar. So... I started buying them more when they were four for a dollar. So I like stocking up on these guys. Okay, so and the next thing I got, this was really a really good find. This is the Annie's Homegrown um, Certified Organic. And if you know that these Annie's Organic are really expensive, this is a 36 count um, cookies and crackers. And this was only $5.99. So I'm pretty sure that's a really good deal. The lot of, a lot of the other packs that I've seen of other brands and other cookies and, of um, you know, cookies and snacks and things of that nature were like $7.99, $8.99. So for, to find these Annie's Homegrown for um, $5.99 and a 36 pack, I thought was a really good deal. And you get in here 12 of the organic cheddar bunnies, 8 of the bunny grams in honey, 8 of the bunny grams chocolate chip, and 8 of the bunny grams chocolate. So these are also going to be part of our lunches and snacks for the kids. I was really excited to find those. And then if you look back here, I have these Givalia iced coffee with almond milk. I do have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I did purchase 10 of these. Now, these I'm really excited about because the last trip I went to Disneyland, I found these at the Dollar Tree. And they were not this size. This is the, um, let's see, 33 ounces. So it's 1 quart and 1.8 fluid ounce. Um, I do have two for six, eight. I did get eight in caramel and only two in vanilla. So I'm going to go back and get at least three or, or four, probably four more in the vanilla. But, um, I'm really excited about these because the last time I went, they had these, um, they had these at Dollar Tree. Okay. And they had, I'm not kidding. They were like this high. They were this size. So I was so excited. I like stocked up on these. Cause you know, if you've been to Disneyland before, you know, you can't take any glass containers in there and I made a mistake the, the first time we went on, on a family trip to Disneyland I had I was happy with my frappuccino and they you know when they search you they're like you can't take that in there and I didn't want to throw it out so I had to stand there and drink my frappuccino before we went in so I learned my lesson you, you're not allowed to take glass into Disneyland you can take as much food and any food you want to which I love you're just not allowed to take anything glass so when I found these at Dollar Tree the first time I was so excited I stocked up I think I got like $20 worth of the little ones I spent $20 worth of these little half size ones from Dollar Tree these were at grocery outlet you guys for 99 cents 99 cents I paid two, four, six, eight, ten. I paid ten dollars for coffees that I would have paid twenty dollars for at the Dollar Tree. So you know I'm gonna be getting more of these, even just to have on hand at home when I'm in a hurry and I don't have time to make coffee, and I can just take one of these, take my cup with me, and when I get to work, I can just put it in the refrigerator and I have iced coffee for the day. So these are a really good find. If you can find these at your grocery outlet, ninety nine cents. Stock up on them, and they don't expire until June. 2017 so these will be gone you know we're, we're taking these there's four of us adults and three little ones um myself my husband my oldest daughter and her best friend and then our three little ones so these will not last you know these are going to be gone on our vacation so i don't expect these to come home with us then the last item that i thought was really cool and was on my shopping list was rice krispie treats 
I found this giant Kellogg's Rice Krispie Treat. I guess it was like a leftover from Valentine's. I don't know where it came from, but it was the only one. Somebody saw it and they're like, oh, look. I was really hoping that they would put it back and they wound up putting it back. So I ran over there and snagged it. And I guess it's the kind where you can make cakes uh, or use it like to decorate um, or cut out your own. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys, I had to get some water really quick. But anyways, um, so I think this is the kind that you would like. It shows on the picture. You just cut it, and you could decorate your own. But what I'm planning on doing, and my sister-in-law gave me a really good idea. But So what I'm planning on doing is cutting this into small portions, just like small portions. Um, so, like, let's see, it starts right here. So I'm thinking of, like, right here and then right here so that I can put them in baggies for the kids. Um, as another little treat on different days. We're going for a few days for almost a week. So every day they'll have a different kind of treat. But this was a really good find. I really like this. And even though it's not the individual packs. I still think I got a good deal on it. Because the individual packs. You probably only get about 8 or 12 of the little small packs. And I probably would have paid the same price. But I could get so many treats out of this one giant slab you know look at just looking at it i can you know this would be enough and we would probably even have more when we come home so i was really excited to find this um, rice krispie treat fun sheet and i paid 5.99 for this a bit pricey for m me just because i like to find cheap stuff but still not a bad deal and i still think that i would have paid more if i would have bought like a packaged pre-packaged one and then i uh, forgot about a couple items but I did take these out of the packages already because I started putting stuff away, but I did find these and I, and I took them out of the box and put them in a baggie because like I said, I was already starting to put stuff away, but these are the fruit roll-ups and they were a box for 99 cents and I wound up buying two boxes of those, so that's the fruit roll-ups. And then um, uh, a while back, they had these Star Wars ones and it was like a 24 pack for $2.99 and I didn't think about getting one for Disneyland I bought one for the house and then when I was like oh I should go back and get one for Disneyland because I like to have Disney themed snacks I just think it's fun you know when you're at Disneyland what more fun than to have Disney themed snacks but when I went back they were all gone so what I did was I came home and I found all the ones that were still in the cupboard and I pulled them out I'm like okay that's not enough for Disneyland you know I don't normally buy these that often but I did buy them that day and I thought well I'll just save them for Disneyland but like I said I came home this is all I found so when I went back I thought, well, what's another one that I could find for Disneyland? And they had these for $1.99. No, I'm sorry. These were $0.99. Cents. These were $0.99. Cents. And they were the Kellogg's Disney Fairies um, Tinkerbell. And I wound up buying two boxes of these. So there's 20 of the Tinkerbells for my girls. And then I'll just give my son the Star Wars ones. Um, since I know he's not going to want, I mean, it's just a, it's just a gummy snack, but I know he's not going to want Tinkerbell. So I'm going to give these to the girls for their little snack and then my son will have those Star Wars ones so again that is everything that I got at grocery outlet and Walmart guys I hope you liked this video um, I have been anticipating like I said to do this video for quite some time I've been so excited stocking up and buying everything so that I can show you how we prep for Disneyland this is the stuff that I would normally buy when we would go on vacation um, so yeah, I'm really excited about all my goodies and the stuff that I've got. And I still have to do one more video for you guys. And let me just show you a sneak peek. All back here, all back here, minus this, is all Dollar Tree. You guys, like, seriously, this is all Dollar Tree. Accumulation of about maybe four or five trips. So yeah, that's going to be next. So thank you guys again so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And excuse me to my house. I apologize, you know, if you've seen any bit of my house that just was not organized. I apologize. We came back from church and I'm like, I want it. We went to the Dollar Tree again to get the last of our snacks. And I wanted to just get these videos out for you guys because we're leaving in, a, in less than two weeks. And I want to get all of this organized and prepped and ready to go. Put it away so that way um, the, the day before I'm going to go and buy our perishables which is our Go-Gurts, um, our Go-Gurts, our juice. I do take a thing of orange juice for the morning and what else? Some hot dogs, a few other items that I'm going to be buying that are perishables that I buy the day before we leave. So without further ado, thank you guys again so much for watching. Again, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for part two of my Disneyland prep. This is the Walmart and stay tuned for the 
um, Dollar Tree. You guys be blessed. Have a great weekend, and I will see you back really soon. Bye, everybody.